be great if somebody could make an announcement for the people on the patio to come back inside. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, what? we call it. Okay. Um. Hey, Christine and Anastasia, can you guys have to come up here? And Busala? Is uh, Andrea around also? She's downstairs. She's still downstairs. I just I want to acknowledge and thank you guys. Okay. Can, can, you, can you go grab Anastasia? I mean, uh, Andrea? Andrea? Yeah, no, no, she's here. No, that's that's uh, that's a uh, um, no, that's Kate. Where? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she's back. Right. Yeah, yeah, she's there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are we good? Okay. Okay. Can you read? Donna? Yeah. Okay. Super. Okay. So we're going to begin. If everyone could please sit down just for a little bit. We're going to introduce the artists and curators that are um, part of the visual art exhibition. Super, thank you. Um, thank you so much. Um, we're very, very pleased with, um, we would like to thank all of the welcoming keynote speakers and also our partners for the first day. It's been really wonderful. Um, and now we have the, the uh, more, well, we had people speaking about the arts, but now we're going to actually have the experience of some of the arts. Um, so uh, I just am going to say briefly uh, an overview of t this evening's program. Um, and if you have any questions, you can come speak to us afterwards. Um, so we're going to have for about half an hour the different artists who were able to come in person who have um, contributed um, to the visual art exhibition, mostly downstairs as well as up here, and the um, architectural spaces outside that are part of ZKU. Um, and then we have dinner, which is at 7.30, um, and then we will have, so after the artists speak, excuse me, um, we will open the exhibition at 7, dinner will be at 7.30, um, then we at uh, 8.30 to 9.30 we have a walking tour um, connected with the history of this area and the train stations and the train lines and that will meet here at 8.30 and then around 9.30 out on the patio will be the Spice Kino, um, which is a film program curated by Julie Saragossa which is um, with the theme Food Diaspora. So, and we'll end the event, we'll try to close the space around 11 o'clock this evening. Um, a quick note also for tomorrow, that um, unfortunately our first speaker who was coming from Spain um, had to cancel last minute for a family emergency, and so the Syrian art and heritage in danger will, um, the panel discussion, we discussed it starting about half an hour earlier, so it has a bit more time since there's three speakers and a moderator. So we'll start tomorrow a bit more around like um, 10.30, so that'll run from 10.30 to 12. So um, just so you're aware for tomorrow. And uh, I would just like to also thank our amazing last minute volunteers, Christine and Andrea where they are, who, and all the other people who have helped pull together hanging the exhibition basically in a day or two. And uh, it looks amazing. So <laughs> it all looks really good, but it was very short notice. So um, their work were, um, has made this possible. I just want to say that. So. <laughs> And um, so um, Anastasia and Christine and Vusala will now introduce um, the, the artists and curators. Thank you very much. Yeah, first of all, I have to uh, thank you for being here because art and heritage, it's uh, supposed to have audience and without audience, it's not art. Um, so <laughs> it's more. Uh, can you hear me now? Okay. 
Without our audience, art and heritage is not possible, and our event won't be possible without you. Um, first of all, I um, would like to introduce some speakers who are not here. Uh, me and Christina Musala. Um, Angelique uh, Sansusan, she's an uh, Armenian-Serbian uh, photographer, but she currently li living in Beirut. Um, and her, her project called Muharamat, uh, it's Arabic word, and uh, we lost in translation. Um, it's uh, incoherent logic um, and hypocrisy. One is punished for, for a glimpse of human body and in the, on, Another is reward, rewarding in, in the destruction of heritage in the aim of God's world. world. Um, Wusala, we're gonna present about um, our Azerbaijanian artists and how we, you will see it um, downstairs soon. Yeah. Um, hello, uh, uh, I would like, uh, like to present um, Azerbaijan artist uh, Ragimla Esmiro. And she's a, a very talented artist, very professional artist in the field of car, uh, carpet. Uh, she worked several years uh, as an uh, industrial carpet enterprise, uh, enterprise as a carpet weaver, has got her education at uh, Azerbaijan State Art College, also um, graduated from Azerbaijan Art State University, and she is now a member of Azerbaijan Artists Union. And uh, carpet viewing playing uh, a great role in Azerbaijan life, and uh, this is an international element of the culture of Azerbaijan people. Uh, is a family tradition trans uh, transferred orally and through practices. And um, in dances, uh, you will see some examples of uh, Azerbaijan uh, rugs uh, from uh, Esmeral regularly. That's all. <coughs> Okay, hey, hello. Um, yeah, another artist who cannot be here today, unfortunately, is Tamam Assam. He was uh, born in Damascus, but he lives and works in Dubai. Uh, and, but in his work, he reflects a lot about the situation in Syria. Um, he works a lot with digital media, but also with street art. And uh, yeah, actually, he mixes a lot of uh, different medias. And uh, today in the exhibition, we have photographs um, of his works from three different series. Um, one is called the Syrian Museum. Another is one. Another one is called the Graffiti Series, and um, finally the Bon Voyage Series. And so these examples, we can actually see how we experience uh, experiments with different kinds of media. So I think Anastasia will continue. <laughs> yeah, um, I would like to present Mitu. Um, he is from Bangladesh. He, we, he, we study together. He is uh, from Brandenburg Technical University. And his uh, photographic series called Life of uh, Sandarb Sandarbans. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it not correctly. Um, he uh, won the first prize in German embassy photo competition. And his photos uh, was used in um, several brochures and publications. Um, he, uh, his work represents sustainable livelihood, and for a million people, it's a shelter for uh, from nat natural disasters, and also uh, it's um, it provides a space for work. And we know that uh, community involvement in uh, world on wor in world heritage sites are important, and this um, aspect is um, is discussable now. Um, I think Christine, and then we introduce our presenting speakers. Okay. So yeah, uh, unfortunately one more artist who can't be here, um, Naimi Naimi. Um, she's uh, from Tehran, and where she also studied uh, sky, um, she studied art with a major in sculpture. And during her last project at the university in, in sculpture, um, she actually started painting. So um, her project was, uh, called The Decay of Plants, and she started her first uh, painting project um, uh, about endangered species and called the series Dreams Before Extinction. And from this series, uh, we can th uh, see three photographs today in the exhibition, so photographs of the paintings, but we hope to show the original works um, in the future in, at Innovative Heritage. So. 
So I just uh, quickly will name um, all the artists, and can you show a hand if you are here or not? Um, and also I will tell the um, country, and you can see the geography of our conference. Uh, Rosanna Raymond, she's from New Zealand, somewhere in the UK, she's here. Um, Denise, <laughs> yeah. Dennis Ferris from Australia. Okay, uh, Oriental Heritage Without Borders. And um, yeah, it's our partner. <laughs> Sophie Iremon Ger, but I'm not sure that I pronounced it right. She's from UK, Ireland, and Germany. Is she? Yeah. Um, Midi Yahaya from Nigeria. Um, Mia Dark Kuch, is he, uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry. And he's from Serbia and Germany. And um, the colleague Rifong, it's a group of artists from Netherlands and Germany. Are they here? Yeah, they are presented here. So the first will be Rosanna Raymond. Yeah, we are welcome you here. So yeah, give us a small speech about yourself and your work. Kia ora, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Uh, no mai, mihi mai, mihi aroha, mihi tau toko, um, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. So, um, greetings everybody. Um, it's um, obviously very privileged to be here. I didn't have to come that far from, from England, but I was quite lucky. I lucked in where another conference actually helped um, secure my airfare over here. So I've got to thank the Potsdam post-colonial justice uh, <laughs> peoples, I, f I feel. So um, so that, that's been a good luck. Here. But I, I won't speak long because I've got to, you can all hear all about it on Saturday. But just really to say, um, the work up here was actually just, it was just actually my working journal that I put on the wall. So it's, but it's a real, I, I'm really intrigued, you know, I encourage people to, to put their own comments on it, like I was putting my own commentary on it and, and I invited people who, who were actually brave enough to come visit me in my studio in the Darnham Museum because it seems like they're not used to living things in the museums, so it was, <laughs> even the visitors, every time they saw a living thing, they'd be like, Whoo! and and run off. And the photos down, and the, the garments, the costuming downstairs was actually all part of an, an activation that I did of the space, but as I said, I'm very luxurious, I've got a, I, I can talk to you a lot more in depth about that in, uh, on tomorrow. Excellent, so, um, it's, it's awesome to be invited here, so thank the Innovate Heritage crew so, so much, and I hope we all enjoy much conversation and good times with each other outside all the talks. Talofa. Thank you, Rosanna, and welcome Dennis Ferris from Australia. Uh, hello. Um, the, um, first of all, I'd like to thank everyone who's uh, organised this. It's, it's a massive amount of work to do something like this and um, they have to answer a massive amount of emails and uh, uh, corral everyone in and all the rest of it and uh, wrangle everybody. And so um, I salute them and what a great job. Uh, so my name is Denise Ferris and um, Amongst other things, um, I, make, I make photographs. And the two series that I'm showing downstairs, just on screen, I haven't actually seen them set up yet, but they are, um, <clears throat> one series is called Celestial Spaces, and it's a body of work that I made uh, in 2012. And uh, I exhibited in China, in Pingya, in Shaanxi province in China. And that work concerns the um, vacated spaces of um, uh, the mining sites where Chinese laborers worked in Australia in the 1860s. And uh, so I made a, I live actually in that region as it happens. 
And uh, so I'm showing that series, Celestial Spaces, and I will talk about that um, series tomorrow and talk about <coughs> what we're going to do as a project as a result of that series um, tomorrow also in my paper. So Celestial Spaces has been shown downstairs and it's been shown in its form of 14 images this time. And um, the one thing you won't see is its scale. So the work has been shown and they were one and a half, 1.9 meters um, wide. But of course down there, they're on a screen, um, I guess. Um, I'm not sure how big they are down there. <laughs> So the second series that I'm showing down there used to be called Walking on Wonder, but my husband kept complaining what a lame name it was. And usually I don't take any of his advice, but um, this time um, it actually made more sense to call the whole thing uh, kind of um, absent spaces, invisible lives, because really that's where, we're, where I'm kind of at with the project. So I also showed this body of work, which is um, many, many images. I, I can't remember how many there are, maybe 160 or something. And they are a very, very simple walk around the sites where I have uh, photographed and the sites where the archaeological sheds, they're called, that the archaeologists dug out of these living sites, not the working sites, the living sites of the Chinese that I've used in my other series, where they came from. So they're literally, um, that series of work on the other PowerPoint is a, is literally a walk across that land. And so some of it's quite kind of uh, unanimated and, and quite jerky. And um, it is really kind of a, yeah, a walk across an, un, an unknown, um, an unknown, a not understood, an unrecognized traverse of a land and a landscape. And so that's what that series is <coughs> that you can see downstairs. So um, I, won't, I won't talk about that series um, except in very general terms in the paper tomorrow. But um, I hope you enjoy uh, looking at the images and of course I would welcome any feedback you have in terms of what they communicate to you and um, how you find this work in terms of it being uncontextualized uh, for want of a better re word, fine art imagery because it has no text, it has no um, uh, it, 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 it's not to illustrate anything, it's uh, put together to kind of um, make a viewer really think about why someone would put that together in that way. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Dennis. And now I welcome uh, Sefer from Oriental Heritage Without Borders, and he will speak about yeah, his colleagues. <laughs> Hello everyone, um, I'm Sepper. I'm representing Oriental Heritage Without Borders today. And um, we are presenting uh, Urban Collective Memories. Urban Collective Memories is actually a, an ongoing pro uh, photo sound project initiated by, by uh, Oriental Heritage Without Borders Association. Uh, we wanted actually to uh, demonstrate how far this um, emotional connection between um, people and their uh, built um, environment can go and how different and at the same time similar this, um, these feelings among different um, urban environments um, are. Therefore, we ask our contributors to um, save these moments in their own cities by taking photos or recording um, sounds of, uh, of their own cities and, and um, um, our, our actually target um, cities to start with are um, uh, New Delhi, Istanbul, Cairo, Beirut, and Tehran. However, um, what, um, what you're going to see here is just a tiny part of this bigger archive um, and, um, that, that we are um, showing here. And symbolically, we, um, we chose one picture of three, fo uh, three cities, uh, Tehran, Beirut, and Cairo. And, um, and, um, and they, a, a collage of, of each of these, uh, these cities that you're going to hear. And um, I hope you enjoy it.
Thank you, Sefer. And now we are uh, waiting for Sophie Eremonga, uh, and she will speak about her collage. And thank you. Yes. Hi, my name is Sophie Eremonga. Um, I was born and educated in Ireland and moved to Berlin in 2008. Uh, in September of this year, I'm um, moving to London to start my MA at Goldsmiths. Um, I thought I should keep this as short as possible, so I wrote a short paragraph on the aspects of heritage that are pertinent to my work, uh, which you can see here. There's three pieces, the large piece at the back, and these two here. So, um, what interests me is a pan-species heritage, what we share with all other animals. It is a, the most non-divisive, non-nationalistic, non-patriotic thing I can think of. And um, it's nostalgia is an important element in my work. Uh, I think that it's a dangerous thing um, to try to return situations to an imaginary kind of golden time. Uh, at the same time, it is impossible to know where one is without referencing where one has been. Practically speaking, in here? Practically speaking, I use acrylic collage print and print to subvert traditional pop art techniques. I use repeated imagery to celebrate the animal instead of the machine. My work is about the junctures between inhabited and uninhabited lands. Um, I create post-apocalyptic future worlds inhabited by the animals of the Pleistocene, which was a time in the past about 30,000 years ago. Um, and, oh, well, I guess that's it. I'm done. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Sophie. Now you can hear, oh, yeah. Um, now it will be Moody Yahaya from Nigeria, and he will speak about photographic essays. Hello, good evening, everyone. Um, I would like to first thank the organizers of, um, I would like to thank the organizers for inviting me. It's very common for Sub-Saharan Africa to be excluded from conversations on contemporary art. My name is Moody Yahaya. I am a filmmaker, um, visual artist and photographer. I would present two bodies of work, one called Conran Circus and the other called For Crown and Country. For Crown and Country is a body of work that attempts to rewrite history, post-colonial history, and the actors in post-colonial history and how they forget and remember in terms of how they evolve within the archive. The other body of work, Conrad Circus, is a construction of historical reverie, fantasy, based on the works of jo Joseph Conrad and how he looked at um, Africa. And it tries to talk about how the power of an individual and ideology affects society and um, politics and the, the process of decolonization. I hope you would enjoy it and I will look forward to feedback. Thank you. Next one, she just came, um, and she's Yigan Azadova from Azerbaijan, and her work is Mythological Images. Yeah, yes, I have two composition in exhibition in downstairs. My composition of the painting which consists... Sorry, can you speak in the Oh, yes, thank you, okay. Sorry. I have to composition in exhibition in downstairs. My composition of the painting, which consists of part, is, um, is based on the traditional Peruvian textile orna ornament. Right decorative lines show um, different colors. Yeah. At the left border, you can see her characteristic Inca square or ornament. Each square has it is one special pattern, one red, yellow, beige, gamma, interspersed, interspersed with black leads, elegant to, to the left sides of the composition and 
contracts with the cold touch of the right size. And uh, second, second composition, uh, name, uh, conversation of lovers, man and woman sitting in the characteristic poses of media, media, medieval uh, miniature heroes enclosed in a frame of application. Fragments of, the, of a carpeted surface with various ornaments uh, gradually, gradually de decreases in size as they move up, upwards, constitu uh, constitute something like a uh, like, like tower. Sacred meaning mm, background for this work are, are the cloud so that men and women talk in the tower become the sacred meaning of hev heavenly life. Thank you. Thank you, Yegan. And now it's Mia Dark Kuc from Serbia and Germany. And you can see him work there. <laughs> uh, hello, everybody. My uh, name is Mia Dark Kuc. I'm an, uh, I'm an architect, uh, urban planner, uh, occasionally artist when it's necessary. And I would like to uh, present uh, uh, project kiosk K67, which you probably saw already in front of the ZKU building. Uh, in terms of heritage, this is that has been discussed here widely. Uh, this kiosk uh, is uh, one of the main design products of the Yugoslavian design from 60s. It has not been still recognized as a, as a heritage object, but has been uh, uh, exhibited in Museum of Contemporary uh, in MoMA in, in uh, New York as an important achievement of the socialist modernist heritage. So I'll be happy to discuss this uh, topic by opening um, a small exhibition that is currently inside. And just to explain the role of it, it has been moved every six months from different places. It's currently parasiting here in uh, ZKU and works mostly uh, with a border between community, community art, and um, this time uh, one exhibition called Objective Dialogues is inside, so I'll be happy to uh, open uh, the kiosk for the ones who would like to sit and enjoy the design achievements of 60s. So, thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> um, can you hear me now? Um, thank you, Mia Dark. And now it's the last artist who present their work um, with the group Refunk. Hello, my name is Jan. I'm a member of the Refunk group. We are garbage architects. We prefer to do than have long discussions, so I will show you how to make a chair in 60 seconds from two old car tires. Before I do that, I explain you our connection to heritage is a very, very emotional one as we extend the life cycle of objects and materials all over the planet, what people consider as garbage and don't want to use anymore. So we have emotional connection to even the garbage in space, which circles around the planet, the garbage in the ground, the garbage in the ocean, and everything, for example, the chairs you sit on might be garbage. So for us, the thing is to change the way people think and inspire them.
Thank you for your short introduction and small performance. I hope you're all intrigued and and now we open downstairs.